My view is that the, the United Kingdom should leave the European Union unless the European Union can reform itself completely in ways which I know it will not. But my view of uh, the British relation to the European Union is that it has become extremely precarious. Whichever way you look at it, um, it we don't know, of course, how the referendum will go or, wh or when it will even occur. But uh, the problem is that it's, it, it's no longer an economic issue for us. And I think this is what most people are feeling. It is really an issue about identity. Do we exist as a sovereign nation or don't we? Uh, and if we do exist as a sovereign nation, why cannot we take control of our borders? Uh, you know, determine who lives in our country and who does not? What kind of law prevails and what law does not? The, these are very big issues for, for British people. And they're not primarily economic issues. Now, of course, the economic question is there inevitably because uh, the, uh, there is no other argument for the European Union in the end other than the economic one. Uh, not, not that there is any clear economic argument either way. There's lots of considerations uh, that say, of course, we need the European markets. Of course, we need to be in constant, uh, f a constant flow of capital and people and so on. Uh, and, and that's an interesting point of view. But then there are arguments the other way about the, the over-regulation of the European economy, which is actually bringing things constantly down. And um, as, if you talk to economists, about this, every one will differ in opinion with every other. That's one of the most important observations, and none of them seem to have any definite view as to what the uh, conclusion should be. So, uh, it, so the argument has shifted away from economics to the big question of national sovereignty, and also in the context, of course, of mass migration, uh, and uh, the context also of the. Um, transfer of populations from Eastern Europe I into Western Europe. But there is also the deeper question of, of law. You know, we have a common law system in which the law is built up from below by judgments of the court. It's not imposed from above. You, for the most part, on the continent have the Napoleonic system, which is certainly in Holland uh, um, ever since Napoleon's conquest. You know, which imposes law from above, and this is, creates a completely different attitude as to what law is. And I think this is one of the things that people really object to about the European Union. Who are these people imposing laws on me? You know, it's our courts that should be doing that. Suppose we did leave the European Union. It's not a foregone conclusion at all, but if we did, um, I suspect that others will follow, Denmark will follow. Uh, and uh, probably Sweden too, because they would recognize, already they're recognizing the huge problem that's imposed upon them by European Union migration policy policies and the, uh, the inability to close borders, you know, and this is a huge threat to social order in, in, in the Scandinavian countries. So I suspect they'll leave too, and we'll have a, an association of northern states uh, of a more uh, old-fashioned, serene kind, largely to do with commercial enterprises, uh, you know, commercial relations, uh, rather than any pooling of sovereignty. Then there'll be France and Germany, uh, who will be um, obviously united because the original purpose was to stop them quarrelling. <laughs> and then there'll be Greece and Italy in total chaos because of migration, uh, and gradually also breaking away. And Holland will join Germany, probably? I don't think so. I think Holland might come with us. <laughs>